I major with Thea Purnett. I've been with the Fairfax County Police Department for about 21 years now, and I'm currently the commander of our Resource Management Bureau. I grew up a military brat. My father was career military. My mother was actually an emergency room nurse. I lived all over the United States, all over the world. I've lived uh, West Coast, East Coast. In the South, I've lived overseas in places like Guam, Okinawa. So I have had the opportunity to live all over. Um, I graduated high school in Ohio, but I actually went to college in Texas. While in college, I actually majored in psychology. I had the opportunity when I was pursuing my undergraduate degree to do some volunteer work. I spent three years volunteering with domestic violence victims. Through that volunteer work, I actually worked out of police stations there in Texas and I got to interact not only with survivors of domestic violence, but the police officers and the calls for service that they respond to. I had a better understanding. I got to do a ride along. And that's really what sparked my interest in law enforcement. And I had a job out of, outside of college for about three years that took me here for an opportunity. And it was later than I decided to apply to the Fairfax County Police Department. I was surprised how much I truly enjoyed being a patrol officer. You are dealing with individuals that are certainly in um, crisis quite a bit, and you, you connect with them and you're trying to bring them out of crisis and trying to find alternatives for them in their situation to put them in a better place. And I specialized a lot in uh, domestic violence calls based on some of my history as far as um, my volunteer work and my, my study in psychology. So I spent years as a domestic violence detective and I transitioned into child abuse. And I had one particular case with a, a young victim that had been abused most of her life. Um, and it was a very um, sad case. And that was something that I helped her through. She, the, the perpetrator in those crimes was successfully prosecuted. Um, and years later, I did contact her mother to kind of check in on her. She was graduating high school um, and going pre-med. So I was very happy to hear that kind of um, turnabout in her life circumstances. And that was something I was very proud of. I, I think being a police officer is not just a job. I know I've referred to that. It's definitely a calling. You, you have to have a calling to be a police officer, put on a uniform every single day. But it's, there's no other job like it. I, I don't know how to explain it. You show up on a scene and you know everybody's looking at you. And it is fun just even when you go out to lunch and you see a little girl that's looking at you. And, and that's something they don't get to see that often as a female in uniform. And, and that's just rewarding that you know that you can be that positive role model. So I always make it a point to go have a conversation with that child, boy or girl, but it, the girls definitely seem to be a little more um, excited when they see a female officer. So that's something you just aren't gonna get that in every single occupation. And so this is something I said, it, it, it's a calling, but I can't explain how much you're gonna know that you made differences in people's lives. A lot of times you're not gonna know the differences that you made. You may have deterred something bad from happening, not ever know about it, but you did. And it's just important and you're gonna feel like you just have a rewarding career field. I do think that women have a different skill set. We bring softer skills as far as communication and that rapport building. We have a little more patience sometimes and I think that helps if we come across as genuine when we're telling someone that we do care about them. We're more comfortable saying things like that. So to say that to a a victim of a very violent scene, whether it's male or female, that I, I care about you, I want to help you through this. Um, they do connect with us, they do believe us, and I think that it, it does help in those cases and, and taking those cases all the way through the court process, which sometimes can be extremely lengthy. When I did um, become a mother and I was pregnant, the police department lets you control um, your situation as far as when you're ready to go on to a restricted duty stat status or a light duty stat status. I told my supervisor when I felt that it was appropriate for me to no longer be considered full duty. Um, but I felt like I said, I had total control in that situation. Um, when I had my baby, same thing. I had the option of how long I wanted to be on maternity leave. The department did provide me paid maternity leave and then you're allowed to combine your own personal comp leave that I had built up over the years from you know overtime assignments. So I, I had total control of that situation and it worked out very well for me. It is very concerning, obviously, can you find that work-life balance in law enforcement? And, and the answer is yes, it's gonna be challenging. Um, but I have been able to, in many areas, control my career path and choose those positions, choose the opportunities that I thought would work best for my family. I've never been in a situation where I felt like I couldn't be both a police officer and a mother. It's always worked out for me. You should just don't be afraid. You can have it all. You can have that work-life balance that you 
you probably want at some point and you get to have that job that you're proud of and you tell other people about and you have great stories to tell and you're making an impact. You're going to feel rewarded at the end of the day for what opportunities you've had and the impact you've made on other people's lives. For the police department, working in a career field that is considered male dominated, one of the biggest challenges I found I think in my 20 plus years is just finding gear that's geared for females, a lot of it's more suited for men. So that's something that I've seen change drastically in the last 20 years. I expect it to still continue to change. As far as the job opportunities in this field, there's no restrictions. If I wanted to be a canine officer, if I wanted to be a motor officer, if I wanted to be a SWAT officer, all those opportunities have been provided to me. And my career path, like I said, I chose investigations as my career route. And eventually I went through the supervision command route. I had no limitations. So for any females that's concerned about that, if you want a job that you control your own destiny and you can do whatever you need to do and find a spot that works for you, the police department is absolutely the place for you. I think law enforcement needs more women. The police as a occupation obviously is under a lot of pressure for reform and I think it's necessary. And I think women are gonna be the, the, the drivers for that change and it's gonna be positive for law enforcement, it's gonna be positive for our communities we serve. So the more women, the better. One of the benefits to having a more diverse workforce with more women and more ethnicity is that not only will you have a more diverse visual workforce, you'll have more diversity in thought and that's what we need in law enforcement.